What's up guys, it's Piro from WPSociety.com and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful vertical timeline in Divi by just using Divi image module and Divi text modules. And now before we go into it, I just wanna let you know that here at WP Society we focus on WordPress tutorials. So if you wanna learn more about WordPress, more about Divi team, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. And now let's dive into it. All right, guys, we are now inside my computer and over at WP Society. And this is actually a blog post that we are going to follow to create this beautiful DV vertical timeline. If we click here on live preview, it will take us down to the bottom of the page where we can see how it's going to look like on a desktop computers. Now, if let me quickly show you how it's going to look for a phone. This is how this vertical timeline going to appear on a phone. And I really like it. And that's actually why I'm sharing this with the community because I'm, I'm very confident that there, there'll be a lot of people that are gonna find this useful. So let's get started. As I said, we're gonna be following this tutorial. It's a very long tutorial, guys, so buckle up, get yourself a drink, and let's move on. Okay, guys, so in the first step, what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump in a wireframe view, and then we're gonna create a normal section, uh, two rows. One row will be, will be single column row, where we're gonna add text and divider modules, and second row will be two columns, and in the left column, we're gonna add an image module and on the right column, we're gonna add two DV text modules. So let's do it quickly. Go to dashboard, hover over pages, add new page. And I'm gonna call this page DV vertical timeline and click use to DV builder. And then I'm gonna build it from scratch. So click start building. And let's leave this click on three dots because I like to build in a DV wireframe view. So click on wireframe view. Now let's add this row. To add row, click on this green plus icon and then click first time we have single column row and then click again to add second row, which was two column row. Let's go back and to add module, click on this gray icon, add new module and add text module save and then add one more module which was divider and save here in the second row you're supposed to add image module and two text modules all right now just save and let's continue with tutorial in step number two, we are going to apply our custom CSS IDs and classes using wireframe view. Again, so we're gonna go and first we're gonna edit section settings. And we in a section settings, we are going to add this CSS class. So copy this class, hover over gear icon in the blue, then go to advanced tab, CSS ID and classes. And here in a CSS class field, paste this vertical dash timeline and then click save changes. And then one more time, save draft, and let's continue. Next thing, row advanced settings. To the first one, we want to add section title in a CSS class field. So let's do it. Click on row settings, go advanced, and again, just paste section title, click save. Let's see what we have to do in the second one. In the second one, we have to edit Again, CSS ID in classes, and then we also have to edit each column settings separately. So let's copy this here, step, step dash one class, and let's apply it to the row settings. Here we go. And then go back to the content. Don't save, go back to the content. And here you have a column structure of the two columns, and then they're listed here underneath as well. So if you look here on the left, you'll see this gear icon as well. Click on the gear icon and takes us to the column settings and then go to advanced. And here we apply another CSS classes. So let's see what's the next CSS class to apply is left side. Oh, it's very logical. Left side, go back and edit the second column. Advanced CSS and CSS class this time is right side and then click save and save again and click save draft because we are done with the step number two and we're moving to step number three. In the step number three, we are going to edit row modules, add content and animation. It's quite simple. So first we're gonna edit this text module and then we're gonna edit our uh, div divider settings. 
to edit text module, we want to add this class here. Uh, content wise, it's important to mention that H2 should be title and H3 should be subtitle. So let's do it. I'm just going to copy this class and let's go and let's edit our text module. So to edit text module, you click on a gear icon inside the text line and that's like text settings and then go advanced and paste this uh, CSS class. Go back to content text and now we should use H2 and H3. I'm just going to quickly copy paste it. Just give me a second. And here we go. And once you put your title and some subtitle, click here on a save changes. And now let's see what we have to edit for divider. To, for a divider, we have to edit color, divider weight, width, module alignment, and add a class to get that um, animation. So I'm first going to copy this class and I'm going to hop back and I'm going to go and edit this divider here. Click on the gear icon again, advanced. Let's check in the CSS class first, then go back to design. In design on a line, you can select any color, but I'm just going to use the same one from this tutorial. I'm just going to copy, paste. Yep. And then here go to sizing. And in the sizing divider weight was four pixels. And then width was 50. And when we change width, it's not full width anymore. It opens up this new section module alignment. Click to align in the middle. And we are done with the step number three. So click here to save changes and save draft. And let's move to step number four. Step number four is editing a second row modules. And to edit the second row module, we'll have a little bit more work. So first we're going to edit uh, image settings that's on the left column. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to add this CSS class. Then we're going to add both of the text modules on the right hand side. So let's start. Let's copy this class that we want to add into image module settings. So again, gear icon, advanced, CSS, and in the CSS class field, paste your CSS class. Go back to content and then click on image and hit here click add image and now you can upload your image but I've already uploaded four images that I'm going to use for this tutorial so select your image and click upload an image and then click save and then next thing to do is edit this text module but let's see what we're going to do we need to add this class first so first class is a step dash number copy this step dash number and also we want to add paragraph and the number of the step in it so let's go here edit text module, advanced, CSS, paste step number, go back into the content, text, and inside the paragraph, we want to add number of the step. And this is a step number one, so I'm gonna type one. And then click save changes. And it's time to edit this second text module. Let's see what we have to add. We have to add this CSS class, it's right there. So copy this CSS class. So click on a DV vertical timeline, and then click here to edit the module. Go advanced and then paste your CSS class in a CSS class field. Go back to content, click on a text. And here you can use H4 and just this is a title. And then here goes the description. Okay. And now click here, save changes. And then save draft because we are done with the step number four and we're moving to step number five. In the step number five, we are duplicating rows, editing row settings, and we are pretty much almost over with this tutorial. So let's go, let's do it quickly. So to duplicate the row, you wanna click here on this icon, which says duplicate row. And we wanna make two or three more copies because we want to have four steps. Now, so we wanna edit row settings. And then we're going to go in advanced and CSS ID and classes. And just here where it says step, step one, change to step two. In a third one, change to step three. And in the last one, change to not step four, change to step last. If you have seven steps, then like seven step will have this step last. Okay. So click here and save these changes. And let me quickly check if there is anything else that we have to do right now. That's pretty much it for step number five. So let's continue with the step number six. 
In step number six, you are supposed to update the content and as it says here, self-explanatory. So let's do it. Let's quickly update the content. Uh, I'm just going to update one for now. So select here, second, then edit this one and it's a second step. So we're going to put two and I'm not going to edit this text. I'm going to do the same for a third last image and then click save draft. All right, guys, that brings us now to the end of the step number six. We have to finish by adding CSS into our child team or team customizer. Uh, basically, here is one recommendation and I really recommend you to host your images on your server because if for whatever reason I have to take down uh, this wordpresssociety.com server, your vertical timeline won't work anymore. Reason four is that this particular CSS here is loading two photos, step arrow.png and step background.png from WP Society or WordPressSociety.com domain. So guys, here are the URLs. Download these two files and re-upload or upload them on your own server and then we're gonna edit the file. I'm gonna show you how to do it, don't stress. Now let's first copy this code in here and then let's go and let's open up our team customizer. Scroll all the way to the bottom and click on additional CSS. And as soon as you paste this new CSS in here, your vertical timeline will fully work. What you should do now, you should publish this and let's see if it's working and it's perfectly working. Now let's quickly just minimize it. Let's see if it's working on a phone. Is it mobile optimized? And of course it's mobile optimized as you can see. So guys, there you have it. Now, before we knock off, as I said, we want to upload these two files. So just copy paste these files in the browser, download them into your uh, local hard drive, hard drive, and then re-upload them into your media library. So go to your dashboard, go to your media library, add new, select files and add these two files. Once they uploaded, just copy the URL, open a team customizer, and this was the arrow URL. So additional CSS, find arrow URL, that's the first one, right? Paste new arrow URL that is loading from your own domain. Then do the same with the second one, copy the URL, scroll a little bit down and paste your URL with the step background and then click publish. And that's it guys. As I promised at the beginning, you, by the end of this video, you got your first vertical DV timeline and it's fully working. It's fully optimized, mobile optimized, responsive. It works on all devices. Guys, I hope you found this useful. If you did so, smash the like and comment in the description below. Maybe you want to share this tutorial with someone as well. And if you really like me and want to buy me a coffee, check the link for my Patreon down below in the description of this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video, which I'll try to do daily. Now, before I knock off, make sure you check these two cards on the right hand side where I'm going to leave something very beneficial for every WordPress user. This is WP Society and we are here to help you make better websites. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again.